Caledonian Canal. If you take one of the two boats, you get off the local bicycle locks just up on the Unit Street and sail up the canal to Loch Ness. The romance that is Scotland just oozes from the surrounding hills. It is easy to see how a bonny prince and his followers would hide on the shore and go undetected. The forest, the starch stones, the streams and waterfalls, and the lovely purple heather make you feel you are sailing through a painting rather than living, breathing countryside. The canal is 60 miles long and connects Loch Lochie, Loch Lloyd, Loch Ness, and Loch Dufer of interest to anglers, especially fly fishers, the lochs provide a fantastic opportunity to fish for sea trout, rainbow trout, brown trout, and the salmon. The best times are between July and October. Some areas are free to fish while others require a day permit. The local tourist office or sports shop will keep you right. I should advise you here that while the old Gallic proverb says that a deer from the forest and a fish from the brook are crimes no Highlander would ever be ashamed of, the authorities are not of as a romantic mind and charges could be laid if you're caught poaching. Stags, the Highland deer, abound as do many other animals, birds and even a famous monster called Loch Ness Hole. Take a stroll through Urquhart Castle. Stop off in the visitor center and grab a snack. The castle was blown up to stop the clans rising and using it as a stronghold. You can see what a great fortification it was, towering over the loch, and only one side attackable from the land. The loch could be toured by boat, bus, rental car, or do as we would do when we were burns and rent a bike for a lovely cycle up the road. There are several rest areas where the view is spectacular and more than one pub on the route for a meal or a wee drive. Remember though, drinking and driving is a very serious offense in Scotland. The lasses they were singing, but the tears came tatherly. When the bell started ringing, I will go, I will go. I will So